Let's get it. So I can pick y'all's up teams now. I'm gonna show both of them, should I? Try and show one. Put one the west. Okay. What's up? Okay, let's stop the draft. Choose him. There we go. Good chat, what's going on? We kind of like a big man, so let's go with Padres. What's going on, chat? Let's go, let's go with y'all. Want to get one of my team as well? All right, cool. I get the first pick. I'm taking Trevor Cold. And of course, I'm gonna pick up myself. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> pick up Shaq from this no center, backup center. Then let's go with like a small forward. So we'll go with. Right, who do we need? Uh, like a guard? Oh, that little small forward. What's up? What's going on? Okay, let's choose Cal Ford. We're both small forwards, so I'll take Vince Carter. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. That's the teams. Right there. Not too shabby. No two shabs? Thought there was, but okay. I like that. Not bad. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So I'm teaming up with the game for All Star Weekend. For the All Star Game, hell yeah! I can't wait to shame now when that happens. But for now, we're gonna play this game, and yeah, let's get started. Go check the daily view. Go place tomorrow. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get started. Which jersey? Let's wear that. And I'll wear. Uh, which one? Sure, why not? Let's get it. Game early before launch. Yeah, this, so we've been doing this for like three years now, uh, this type of event, and it's been awesome. Like, it's probably one of the most helpful things we have because we, you know, we work all year, and we're in our little silo, we're building our game, and we think it's in a good state, but until you get these players who play all year long, and they're representing the my team community, the my player community, you know, rec, the pro guys. Oh, like, basically, what's everyone. going on, chat? It's going go, to go to the chat. Concluded. So just sit right back, everyone. We'll be back in just a moment. Hit the like button, chat. Welcome and good evening. Oh, good. Welcome oh, to our Monday night oh, broadcast of the I'm NBA here here. on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Ooh. Aldridge. DA, take it away. Hey, good evening, Kevin. The Nuggets, of course, will only go as far as their superstar. I think we all appreciate him. What a terrific player. Great stuff, David. Thanks. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Nowitzki is out there with Bird. Then there's Hill. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Kane in at the two-guard position. And for the Nuggets, Z out there with Speedy. Then it's Elijah Wan. And it's Durant. And it's Houdini at the five. Tip-off goes to Denver. 
It's been an exciting season already, Doris, but I think the middle of the year is when you really get an idea of which teams are in it for the long haul. So, they reveal their true selves. So, right, the by the midpoint of the season, the best teams are really starting to take shape. Everyone's much more dialed in. You can tell that winning matters. That the Shaq, groups are not doing that today, buddy. Stop the it. Direction. So I agree. By One the start of the year, we have a pretty it. good idea who is going to win and win consistently. So foul call. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws here tonight. And, and 75% on the season as on the a unit nice. from the free throw line. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It, it, it's simple. I'm back. Make it to the finals. The, the Nuggets have never been there. That up, right? They've been close to reaching nobody. the conference finals on more than one occasion. And there's the drive. Takes oh. it up with both hands and rips it down. Well, if you don't the take camera. care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely great. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Uh, the strength of O'Neal uh, is mm -hmm. otherworldly. Outside, KD. Over to the wing. Here's Kane. Last time out here for 10 points. Damn it. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Speedy, the pass to Elijah one. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're, they're going to Oh yeah, he should be a big guy. Let's go. Off the glass. And that's Let's just get it. Elijah Wan would way you know, too many moves in there. Almost automatic. Let's get it. Yeah, Mr. Kane, beyond the arc. Pretty good mind read. Not good. Good. Oh, yeah. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Down. Elijah Wan is <laughs> to break free. Let's go. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And Kevin, little plays like that one will help them manage this lead heading into the half. How about yeah. the determination? Now, Bird kicks the hill. Defense. Not losing to the Nowitzki you know outside. Not losing. Not losing. Lock at six. Here's Kane, and he goes in for the dunk. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going it's to a slow jumper, of course. I he couldn't it. quite get that one. Four for five. Yeah, and I still get his contract. Here's Hill, Wade with the clock. And now the fast break. Oh. Juan with the ball. Here's Kane. The defense. Misses the three. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. The Nuggets with oh. another miss. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against Philadelphia. Yeah, and that one, their rebounding was the difference. Big disparity between the two teams. That was a coach's dream, to get that kind of effort and intensity on the glass and for it to pay those kinds of dividends, critical. A shot by Houdini, no good. Orlando's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And out of bounds is the next game possession. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that, that to happen. Jokic, he's checked in for Elijah Wan. And the Magic making a change here as well. Leonard's checked in. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. And the Nuggets with some changes. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Durant. And Murray subbed in for Speedy. Then for the Magic. Bowl, he's checked in for Nowitzki. Bancaro comes in for Bird. And Tracy McGrady subbed in for Kane. And that one is good. And let's be honest, Murray has never seen a shot he didn't like, especially these mid-range jumpers. Now here's Leonard. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. McGrady outside. 
Off target from three point range. Denver leading by four. To the inside. Oh, yeah, the puzzle, please. Jokic throws it down. And that's how you execute offensively, Murray, with a great job of getting it to his teammate. The Orlando Magic come into this one following a loss to the Kings. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. What? What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Nuggets? And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. All righty. I'm hollow. The first free throw is good. And there's already a loyalty aspect to Van Carroll's makeup, starting with the tribute to the city he grew up in. He literally takes Seattle everywhere he goes. You look at the tat on his right bicep. It has the Seattle skyline, Mount Rainier, the street he grew up on. In terms of his character, that indicates deep roots and a solid foundation he can build on. Now, here's Van Carroll. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. It's blocked, and he gets it back. Wade with no one around. Nailed from three-point land. Oh, and that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Leonard kicks to Hill. Now, here's Ben Carroll. He's covered closely, and it's Leonard missing. Yeah, and he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on... Oh, him yeah, just cut that you. And Wade oh. Oh, that's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. Oh, that's like, oh, damage. How about that damn from it. your point guard, Jeff? Playing big fight. at the rim, okay? And here's Leonard from three. Yeah, this is yeah. with the rebound. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's that's Houdini. Like, he dents the rim with a two handed slam. Get it. And he makes the tough pass look easy. But but he also, with that vision, always going to find the open man. Now, here is Hill. He's coming off a 10-point game against Sacramento. And what a wrecking ball defensively, seen by the four steals he had in that game. Here's Leonard. They trail by nine points. Five to shoot. Can they get it? I think that. Again, Leonard missing. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And so it's the Denver Nuggets in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Nuggets, guys, what jumps out to you numbers-wise? You guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great uh, effort. You can see the results. What's going on, Chow doing? The Magic trail by nine. On the court for Orlando, they've got Levitz. Tracy McGrady is out there with Big Red. Then there's Bird. And it's Shaq in at the center, locking down the middle. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Well, there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man. Dang. It is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. The first one falls. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a
luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. McGrady left side. Back to O'Neal. Here's Kane. He has six. Nails the wide open jump shot. Kane's got eight. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Pass to Nowitzki. McGrady, McGrady, McGrady. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. The shot misses. Now Denver okay. takes it the other way. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Is there a now for Vine edition? I don't think so. We're talking about for 24, I don't think so. Oh no, it's for PS4. Wait, maybe PS4 is as well. Yeah, I think maybe 20. Both gens have that, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna Google that. Here's Speedy, guarded by O'Neal. Four on the shot clock. Here's Elijah Wan. Gets the jumper from the corner to four. Elijah Wan's got the lead up to nine now for the Nuggets. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way yes. ahead in that yeah, game. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to Google that one. It's five and six, four. Bird misses. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. That should have been a foul, now, but I guess. Time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Orlando <laughs> has a very young roster. Coach Jamal Mosley says, one thing I've said to them is dominate the simple. The more we can keep it simple, the better we'll be. Yeah, well, it just depends on which one you buy. Not overthinking things, just it depends. It was by the hundred dollar one. Well, how much? What is that one? Hold on. You should buy the hundred dollar one. That's when I bought at the PS store. So let me see. Kevin, back to you. The place to uh, start yeah, makes a lot of matters. sense. David, thanks. Let's follow that. He's at 100k PVC. Actually looking for him. That one cost like... He did play solid that time. Yeah, and every generation or so... Everybody so with him now. Where comes along who can be considered a true superstar. And folks, that's Larry Bird. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Gotta admire yeah, what he's been able to do at the free throw line this yeah, season. How about over 90%? We throw good, bird. Sure. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in Not for sure the Nuggets. For. And he makes both free throws. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get money. Here's Speedy. Rejected by Nowitzki. <laughs> Just great anticipation from Dirk playing his cards right on the defensive end comes through with the rejection. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often, and of course, he makes good use of it. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Those have to be real top it. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. One shot. That's going to send Kevin Durant to the line. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that one. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. 
fouling Kevin Durant is pretty much the same as giving up a bucket because this guy has been so consistently good from the free throw line over the course of his brilliant career. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. For Orlando, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. So neither attempt will fall that time for Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Leonard, he's checked in for Shaq. And that one falls for Nowitzki. Well, Dirk Nowitzki revolutionized the stretch four, right? I mean, this is the unique big and influential player of multiple generations. The Nuggets shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one drops. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Fran Hill, he's checked in for Orlando. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Bird outside from deep. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Just their chill biggest out lead of the game was not. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Here's Leonard. And out of bounds is the Nuggets game position. Stop it, and the Nuggets with some changes. Houdini comes in for Kevin Durant. And Z subbed in for Williams. And the Magic making a change here as well. Van Carroll's checked in for Larry Bird. Denver leading by five. Passes it to Elijah Wan. Now here's Wade. D right on him. Come on, by you. Boy, he's at the Score cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. The magic again can hit. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass it's the basketball at this point. We get to that right. Hill passes to Kane. Outside Hill. Tries from 16, and there it is for him. And because of his ability to attack the rim, Hill can use that mid-range jumper as a great second option. Keeps defenders honest when he's knocking that down. Speedy, no good. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, Let's especially go, foul, against ball. soft defense. The Nuggets have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. And that one falls for Elijah Wong. Denver making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. Bowl, he's checked in for the Magic. Hey, Elijah on, drops them both. 143 left to play here in the second quarter. Hill kicks to Bowl. Pass to Kane, but three. Not making that. Get it's hauled in by Gordon. Denver leading by seven. And after spending his first seven years in Orlando, Aaron Gordon traded in 2021, going from the Magic, a team out of the playoffs, to a team chasing a title. Out to Wade. To the middle, here's Houdini. Elijah Wan trying to break free. And you watch Bowl on the defensive end. Boy, he's got a lot of potential, especially as he adds strength to that frame. Orlando moving the ball around. 
the magic again. Get that back to him. And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando, Greg, how'd you think that deal yeah. worked out for him? Jordan, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon. That magic. Taking on more of a complimentary role and getting more big game experience. Denver getting their last shot to go. Pass to Van Carroll. And here is Hill. Wade is coming. Stop it. Hill is no good. Denver in the lead. I think he's definitely going to keep up with all these. Speedy the pass to Houdini. Kicks to Wade. Oh, okay. Now the pass to Houdini. Offensive rebound. And the powerful one to the slam. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Boom, he jams it straight down. Uh, good look there as well. And this is what Hakeem's worked on. Pay too much attention to him, and he'll burn you with a nice find. Here's Kane. They can't stop the run with that one. And so it's the Denver Nuggets looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. Back to the action in just a minute. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. After two quarters, it's Denver out in front. They have a 13-point lead. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. Their ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every position. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Orlando? A combination of poor shooting and poor shot selection. That's what my take was. They need to be more patient. Run the offense all the way through and let everyone touch the ball. Otherwise, they're playing into the other team's hands. <laughs> And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been a clinic out there by Houdini. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. Really putting his handprint on this game. You love the hustle. You love the work ethic he has had on display. So with Williams on the bench, this is the group Mike Malone has right now. They've got Houdini. Speedy out there with Z. Then it's Elijah Wan. And it's KD in at the small forward position. And it's the Magic with the ball. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Bird outside. Pass to Kane. And Turk Nowitzki oh, gets the that's whistle. Foul. Yeah, let's go. That's foul Dirt. number two for him. That's foul on Dirt. Let's go. And Elijah on has got the ball here for the Denver Nuggets. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And the basket by Speedy. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Kane, no luck. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Nuggets have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. The Magic making a switch here. McGrady's checked in. The Magic trail by 19. Feeds to Nowitzki. And the jam by Dirk Nowitzki. Well, Nowitzki not known for his athleticism, but nice flush there. Here's Speedy. He's got eight. Sinks the three-pointer. Speedy's got five points in the quarter. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling 
everything clicking out of the game. Oh, time out, time out. It doesn't get much easier than that. Even a decent shooter is going to make that with no pressure. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Checked in for the Nuggets. Murray comes in for Speedy. Here's Wade. He's got five. Left side, KD. Tell me about you, but some nice D. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Go to hell. Offensively, here's O'Neal from down in the low post. It goes. Shaq's got his third basket of the night. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability no, to get me, bird. in the paint, Let's whether it's it. creating for a teammate or for yourself. And of the last six baskets, five have you come back on the line. interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Bird, and it's tonight. They get it back. To the paint, a second chance effort. Denver grabs the miss. Houdini's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got three assists in the game. The Magic trail by 21. Stop being nasty. Like, come on, now. Here's Nowitzki. Jokic the same thing for everybody else. Nowitzki's shot is no good. Come on now, just stop the that. Nuggets now with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alders. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Now here's Shep. He's got six, and you know that's going to be goaltending, guys, so that's a free basket right there. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Williams is well, checked in for Dallas. Oh, is that a cool Leonard, he's checked in for Orlando. The Nuggets hey, win by 19 hell? points. Jokic passes to Houdini. And the foul call in for Leonard. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good like defensive that. play to cut like him off that. there. And square up. Oh, now. And Tavius Caldwell Pope, he's checked he in for Kevin Durant. Right and a switcher oh, also now. for Orlando. Let's get it. And Carroll's checked in for Larry Bird. Caldwell Pope left side, that stupid. pass to Jokic. Now let's do something with it. Here's Houdini. I should feel something. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Leonard. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by 19. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. The Magic trail by 19. McGrady passes to Hill. Now O'Neal. Jokic defending. Shaq can't hit. Denver's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Houdini passes to Jokic. Inside. A shot by Houdini, no good. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. That's good from Shaq on the assist from Bancaro. 
And that's now 10 points for ABC. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. Here's Houdini. Out to the right wing. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at five. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Houdini's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Outside Leonard. Pass to McGrady. And Carroll passes to Leonard. Over Caldwell Pope. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Oh, you oh Zaire and Mikey. And you are so Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Hill fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Hill able to stretch the floor, making it tough on defenses to guard him. And he's got his first chance at the line here. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. One shot. Free throw drops for Hill. And the word you got to use is explosive out there when, when talking about Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game to come to him. He, he goes out and just makes things happen. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Denver on top, up by 16. And we'll be going after this from Ball Arena. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this okay, one? How about the Let's secondary playmaking? Play 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 great to have that from the shooting guard spot. Let's get it. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for Orlando. Bird out there with Nowitzki. And there's Big Red. And there's Hill. And it's Bang. Hill in at the center position. And certainly they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Bird outside. It's back to Hill. The pass to Nowitzki. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Hakeem Olajuwon. Don't you just love the pump fake from Nowitzki? So skilled at drawing his man into the air. And he sinks the second. And here are the Nuggets now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Here's Speedy. <laughs> In charge of my play, chill in a out, buddy. To look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Nuggets. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Jokic has checked in for Aaron Gordon. And there's a whistle. That goes on Z. That, that is his first foul there. of the oh. game. Orlando with the ball. Hill has the open look. Carries the long-range jumper. 
but never mind. Hill's got 10 points in just the second half. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Here's Elijah Wong. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Nuggets lead by 19. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Now here's Nowitzki. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, you know, given how accomplished Nowitzki is from right there, you can't blame the defense for being aggressive. Ultimately, though, that wisely goes right through the contact. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Hey. First one falls for him. Damn weird. Boy, Bill. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Ball, Denver leading by 18. There's Speedy, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass from Nasty Jane. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Wade against Hill. Another miss by Orlando. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Here's Speedy, and again Denver with the triple. You can see it. He's taking better shots, and the results are coming because of it. Passes it to Kane. Jokic passes to Speedy. Got a piece of it. He feeds it to Elijah Wan. Wade outside. Fires the three. Orlando. I didn't think it Stop was a choice on that possession. And making it look easy right now when Hill finds his rhythm where he keeps in attack mode. Here's Speedy. Here's Jokic. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning time out, time out. the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching Sorry. players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Kane. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. Down low. And Jokic throws it down. And night in and night out, you can always count on Jokic to bring it. He is a special, special talent. Hill passes to O'Neal. Got a hand on it. And staying with the play, Nowitzki. The Nuggets leading by 21. Hangs in the air. Jokic trying to free himself up. They get it back. Why Juwan no luck? Orlando's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. 13 feet away, and Durant sends it back. Wow, twice on the pipes of Kevin Durant. That's the length coming into play right there. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right, GA. Seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job it's finishing that down. play. Wow. Now, here is Elijah Wan. It's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got six assists here tonight. Bird yeah, that's outside. too much game. Holy crap, I just scored him. Yeah, that was an interesting game. There's no point of me even finishing. The game's already over. So that's game. Beat them by 30.
All right, so let's see who won this. Sports team lost. Damn. To the flock was clips. I'm not for a good lead and like come on some. Uh, he should know better. They take care of business there, okay. Okay, now let's send it to the dates. They lost to the Kings. What the hell? Oh, wow. This team can't catch a break on losing. They should have won it because this team is way better now. There should be no excuses on that. No excuses at all. This team losing. No excuses. This team just can't seem to win. You know, this team is good now. Got him. Got Oscar. He's got D Wade. He's got himself. He's got Rashid. He's got Kareem. That's a solid starting five right there. And off the bench, you got Ray Allen. You got Butler. You got Timmy Duncan. And then you got Lent Bias, and then you got Ron Harper. Come on now, that's a solid team right there. Now let's see what the Kings have. There's no one. No way his team lost. They got Zaire, creative player. They got Dr. J. They got Dwight. They got Sabonis. They got Mello. They got Oscar. Off the bench, and they got Harden, and then they got Marcus Camby, and then they got Dion Fox, Murray, and they got Kevin Herter. That's not a bad team either. Just the Kings just played a little better. That's crazy. Wow. Who plays, to, who plays in this day? Okay. About, to know, about this day. I think you should have better beat the Hawks. This team is high. I should better beat them. Hopefully. Um, assimilate that game. You won there, of course. Now let's check the daily view. They even seem lost by 28. The big guy, the Bulls. Damn. They did their thing. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Bulls always getting good amount of assists just to lose. That's crazy. What I guess that one? Oh yeah, the Spurs now have Giannis. I forgot about that game on Jay. Yeah, for Tim Duncan, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's okay, you didn't do terrible. What about what I do? Trip dub, let's go. I'll check the also team, so I'm doing the West team. 
<clears throat> I put it about I put all the people made on the same team. All the followers I have in the smile league on the same team. Damn Tishi and Davon and Flocka were I mean Aurora were a starter? Damn. You mean Flocka are just a bench player? Okay. So I'm a one-time All-Star. Okay, so I didn't make it last season. That's an all Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Cool beans. Now right, let's check the world races. They've been dropped down on that list. Damn. We got some there. Duncan's in. Okay, nice. Got the bottom the six mile for the Mavs. Nice. I got okay. Oh, that guy's seven one. Oh, okay. I did not know. Okay, then. Oh, guard. Okay. Let's improve. There's still Kate Cunningham. Nice. Not bad at all. Now let's check the standings again real quick. Davos team lost. Oh yeah, that's right. And he lost. So now Tishi is three games behind the Heat. Three and a half games behind Davon's. Four, four and a half. Wait, alright. Yeah, four and a half games behind Boyd's. Okay, not too shabby. You can still move up. You gotta start winning. Oh, what? Oh, Travis seems now in third. In the East with that team. He's got the rest of the boys off the bench. Oh. Third place, damn. Okay, the magic last four in a row. Damn, the Nets have moved up. Who they have Stockton, they got Ray Allen, they got Paul George, Katie, and then they got a creative player. And then they got Magic Johnson on top of the bench. They got Magic Johnson, Carter, Kyrie. And then, yeah, somehow the. Wow. Okay. Anything, anything can happen. It's done in one's game. If people start losing a lot, or if people start winning a lot, anything's possible. Golden State lost five in a row. Damn. My team on 14th straight. We got a two and a half game lead over the Lakers. Okay. Two and a half game lead. I'd like to see it. Okay, now let's move to this date and see who wins. Bro, what the heck is going on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, sure, man. Tisha's team lost another close game. Oh, man. The well, Hawks have D Wade, creative player Paul George, Wilkins, Trey Young. Malone, John Stockton, they got Barkley, and then Demarcus Cousins, and then they got Okonwu. Somehow they lost by a freaking point. Oh, wow. 
I made sure his team is better. Yeah, because y'all can see. He's got Rashid. He's got Lim Bias. He's got Tim Duncan now instead of Giannis. So that shouldn't be no excuses how he's losing now. Then he's got Ron Harper. Like, that's playing a little minutes coming off the bench. To help out. Like, come on, this is a solid team right here. This team is not getting a d the job done to get the W. Damn. That's crazy. And I simulated that game against Davons and he beat me? Oh, hell. I simulated just to lose to Davon. Oh, yeah, get the hell out of here. Get the frick out of here with that crowd. Simulated just to lose. Wow. Wowzers. Okay, so I brought, brought the Lakers to a game closer to me now. Travis team won four in a row. Okay. Now it's up. Let's check the daily view real quick. So Mavs team lost to the Lakers by 13. Oh, snap. Well, somehow beat me if I simulated. Let's see, Pistons. They beat the Spurs by six. How did Giannis do this game? Got him. Okay, so not too bad as a Spur. Okay. Not too not bad. What's going on, Chow? It's good. Come back. And next, he plays my team, so we might lose. Damn, that's crazy. I expect them to at least be winning with the team he's got now, but never mind. Still four games behind the Heat. We still got a chance. He's got to freaking win a lot of games. Hope a lot of these teams lose. That's not bad though, but let's get into it. Playing Tishi's team now and see what happens. <clears throat> Ooh, we got Rashid guarding the team. We got Kareem guarding Victor. We got Tishi guarding KD. We guarding D Wade. And then Oscar guarding Zaire. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, that's the same exact color, basically. Wow. But I'm not gonna wear it. I'm not, though. Let's wear white. Okay, we're gonna let's get started. Like, we focus on gameplay for this event, and you know, they come in with very fresh perspectives of 23, right? So they've been on it all year long. So their brain, their brain's there. They're still using like kind of exploits or things that they really like in 23 to try to be successful. So they come in trying to do those things right away and they see that a lot of things have been fixed or changed. Here are the Nuggets unloading from the team bus earlier. Anxious to get down to business with this road battle looming. Happy weekend, everyone.
everyone. It's the NBA on Saturday night, presented to you live on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Denver Nuggets going up against the Milwaukee Bucks here at Pfizer. Right. Hey, Allie. Well, guys, in today's NBA, superstars often change teams. Commissioner Silver said, quote, Shall used to be when someone said, Larry, you'd say Boston. Magic, you'd say L.A. Jordan, Chicago. But that was a different time. Now some worried about the change, but with trades bringing publicity, he said, I think we've all changed our view. Brian? Thanks, Allie. Well, you got to expect a low-scoring game tonight, Grant. Two terrific defensive clubs fighting to lock each other down. Both these teams are elite yeah. on the defensive end. These guys won't be making it easy out there. Save when that. there's lots of stops, Save lots that. of forced turnovers, it can be very difficult to find a scoring rhythm. Now Denver's starting five. They've got Kevin Durant, and it's Wade in at the point. And for the Bucks, and it's the Machine in at the three. Here's Robertson to the right side. There's the three. Right, from three point so range. Mean, and then we need the wide He's open. consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Speedy. The three is up. How my eyes missed two in a freaking row. To the inside. Second chance shot. Here's Wallace. Doing. He shoots. Oh, the dumb two balls to jump on this. Let me pull that up. Is there a mid range? I don't know about. I bet he. Okay, oh yeah, okay. The okay, so he can shoot. Okay. About a minute Golden. played here so Freaking. far in the first. He uses oh, so. a glass to oh. finish the layup. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Out to the right wing, the machine. So no the the defense. Denver's gone 0 for 2 from outside. The rebound by the Bucks. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. And games like that are backbreakers. To be so close to victory, but let it slip away is frustrating. And you want to respond in kind, but that last game it was an effort that most of the time can get you a win. He ran into a tough opponent who was playing at a high level. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. From the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Five points in the game. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. They get it back. Pass to Wade. Tries again. Tipped. Out left to the wing. Four on the clock. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Terrific basketball from Wade there. Okay, the thread the pass to the wide open man for the clean look. The Nuggets have gone two of six to open up this game. I think everyone in here felt that dunk. No question. That is a power-packed windmill jam. Wow. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Robertson. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's a little Jamar. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Well, when we talk home court advantage, you think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A. And it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body. Trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. Timeout called the Nuggets. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Milwaukee this season. They didn't give up a single victory to this team last regular season, which went according to script. 
Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Jimmy Butler. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. The first free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far to the left side wing. Here's Abdul Jabbar, takes it up with both hands and rips it down. They haven't switched their starters out yet. The back end of the play. Oh. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Knocks it down so. from distance. Give him eight points now. Wade. Starting to find up. his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just Russia put his foot on that gas pedal. Give him one up. And that one's good. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. That one is off. Milwaukee has gone one for three from beyond the arc. The stop. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. He weighed. Let's and go. the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. And the Nuggets making a change here. Denver has gone two for four from range to start things off. Duran on the attack. Gordon's got space. That's that a good life for them, Gordon. That's a good life for them. You gotta think he's kicking himself. Allen. And it's Allen I who slams it home. That's all good, though. It's all good. Seeing him make that good. lead pass with perfect timing. Speedy. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And he's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Here's Robertson in his last I out. Of the the fan. Here's Abdul Jabbar. He about to lead out on the from Jokic. He'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Now they got to dunk it. Now, bro. Pass to Speedy. The three is up. And that one Around goes. He's now though. recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Here's the machine to the wing, right side. And stolen by Durant. Here's Speedy. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. 107 left to play in the first. Fades and shoots. Rebound by the Nuggets. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Hornets. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
to check Let's in terms go. of the game plan tonight. They might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Here's Harper. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. One, buddy. Got that one. First one falls for him. The so it makes one or two, good. and the second one misses. So far, it's rebounding has been a focal point for them. Look at that. Back to Allen. The three ball. And Speedy clears it away. Here's Wade. Oh, my, hey. what a slam right at the buzzer. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. So we'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up back after this. Just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Nuggets, this has been the game they've wanted to have. But it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. On the floor for Denver, getting going in the second. They've got Kevin Graham, and it's Speedy in a shooting guard position. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal and turning it into quick points. This is the time of the season when some teams start to transform for better or for worse, Brent. Yeah, we either see some clicking or we see some tricking. You yeah. better be on this. certainly don't want to be on the side of being tricked and to think your team is good and it's really struggling. So general managers are really starting to take notice of what might need to get done in order for your team to stay competitive. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. Heck? In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like all NBA team, for example, Jimmy you? hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. He's a rare breed, Ali, for sure. Thanks for that. And one of the things that makes Dwayne Wade such a special player oh is his God. ability to get his teammates going. I love it. Nice activity defensively. Getting in there to disrupt the pass. And the Nuggets making a change here. Williams is checked in. Here's Wade. Here's Houdini. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Robertson. Puts one up from 19. And he bangs it home with one hand. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanting to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. 
and just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Shot clock at six. Here's Wade. Here's Abdul Jabbar. It's deflected. Pass to Olajuwon. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Nope, another miss. 0 for 2 to start the game. Here's Robertson. From the top of the key, carries the jump shot. Denver in the lead. Here's Williams. Shoot that. Shoot Here's Olajuwon. Can't get oh, it to drop. Okay. Now the Bucks take it the other way. From deep three-point range. The no shot by the machine, no good. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Milwaukee calls timeout. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Here's Robertson. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Four on the clock. Oh, yes, the turnaround. He's got six. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And there are signs from Jamal Murray that we have seen as one of those fearless players. And the first one at the line is good. The Bucks making a switch here. Harper's checked in. And he can't hit the second. The Bucks have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Down low. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Inside. What? Here's the machine. Williams defending. The machine. The shot is good. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Houdini. Good rebound by Duncan. I mean, here's Milwaukee. They're on a 14 to 5 run. To the paint. Let's go. Jokic throws it down. Oh, here's Serbia. Jokic up there. The Bucks have gotten seven of twelve shots to go here in the second. Pass to Harper. A minute thirty-seven left in the second quarter. Here's Abdul Jabbar, defended by Murray. Abdul Jabbar misses. Denver has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Here's Houdini. The rebound by the Bucks. Big dude. Come on now. Here's Harper to the middle. Duncan. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. But no, Duncan. Timmy's still able to get up and over that the rim, throwing now. that one in. Right. Let's get to get him out. To the inside. Here's Houdini. Come on, the third. The rebound Big guy. Throws it back and thinking soft now. Here's Milwaukee. I don't care if it's They're 10 ducks. They're on a 16 to 7 run. No I, I have a soft now. Now. Oh. And now just a one point Denver lead. That's more like it. Rounding oh, into four. Okay, very, very difficult first quarter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be like headed this. to the line for a pair. Oh. That one's off. And the second free throw is good. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Fresh. Allen on the wing. Got it, though. Down here. Me? So when I put my hands up, that's called walking. That's called a foul. When I put my hands straight up. Okay. Yeah. 
41 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Here's Robertson. There's some length from Murray as a guard there as he helps out on defense and pesters the shooter. I got a defense kick over. He had a 27 point outing in their last game against Charlotte. And he also contributed a couple blocks too. Just a glimpse at the impact he had on defense. It's tipped. They retain possession. Pass to Fresh. Here's Duncan. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Here's Gordon. And that's not going to go. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Nuggets ahead. Up by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Denver came ready to play. During one stretch, they were leading by as many as 11, really playing as a unit. They found their rhythm early in this one, jumping out to an 11-point advantage. Then in the second quarter, the steam was let out of their hot air balloon as they were outscored and outplayed, but they still cling to a two-point advantage at the half. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Denver? Playing on a road is having no effect on this team. I mean, between your planes, the hotels, the buses, you can zap your energy level. But right now, they look like a fresher team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in the second half. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. I think they let the game come to them. But they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The Bucks trail. And it's ABC in at the center. Blocking down the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Pass to Robertson. This for the time. And he lays it in. Give him eight. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Driving to the basket. Offensive rebound. Second chance effort. And it's good on the layup. And the Nuggets lead by two. Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let up. Well, we saw the same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back yeah, out. Yeah, steal. Shoots. They grab their own miss. Oh, they go. Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. The Bucks shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Out to the right wing. Here's Wallace. Again, the Bucks. Good for two. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadalla in Golden State. It really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. He's off on the first. Jokic is checked in for the Nuggets. He hits the second from the line. And if you're just joining us, we played just over a minute here in the third. To the left wing. Here's Wallace. And Speedy clears it away. The Nuggets have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Here's Olajuwon. Off target with a jump hook. 
Here's the machine. Had a miss there on the triple. Denver in the lead. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. Still That's Denver's ball. Passing to you, nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive oh, end. Yes. Harper, he's checked in for the Bucks. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter in his stifle. That'll be a five-second call. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Here's the machine. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Denver has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Here's Speedy. And they get it back. Deflects the pass. Freaking pass oh, me right there. Break the I'm not Frames freaking the pass jumper to finish off the break. What the frick? 12 break? points for him. And you can tell they're in sync right now. Excellently turning the steal into fast break points. Get that boy. Get that three point range. He had it boy. flowing from long range in the first half. Not sure what changed. Right. Here's the machine. That's not a and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Man, he made sure There's to get his money's worth team. on that foul. Your defense, I guess. And it's tied up with that one. The Nuggets making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Now a timeout called by Denver. That's the move. Lock it though. Lock it. Just, Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Jokic passes to Williams. Over to the wing. Now here's Durant. Pass to Olajuwon. All right, Akeem, you do your thing now. I don't who that is. Do your thing now. Puts it up. The Nuggets with another miss. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. So, he's got to move get on. That Forget board. about this sequence here okay, and, and try you. to find a way to get on the board. Is he hurt? Okay, Akeem's not hurt. Okay. And here is Williams. All alone. So, and Mike gets the jumper to drop. Good Williams shot. has got his first basket of the night. And Jokic, an elite passer right for a guy at his position. Timeout called the Bucks. Timeout. Time stupid stuff. Gordon, he's checked in for the Not Nuggets. Tripping. Get the job done. <clears throat> Here's the machine. 14 points for him. Here's Butler. Here's Duncan. Oh my God. He gets and he was fouled while Jokic. in the act of shooting, so he'll take God, two free damn. throws. Been pretty interesting to watch Tim through his career have some struggles from the free throw line and then regain his consistency. Again, I'll board it, damn it. Get a rebound. Bozo is on the damn bench. And he's good on the second. Golden he board, opportunity to take the, the lead. Bench. Instead, he, he merely knots up the score. Here's Wade. Played it in Let's with go. a nice Fires. touch off the window. Give him eight. It's it's assertive ugly. move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Outside. Standing dribble drive, and that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration. Why is Tim Duncan up wild in the game? A three-point chance here if he can convert. Shooting one. Well, that's some vintage Tim Duncan there getting the shot to go over the tough physical defense. His strength is still pretty pretty remarkable. Why don't you think they're back in the freaking guard the freaking thing or the freaking thing? Oh, it's not good, dude. Durant with the bucket. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Milwaukee has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's Wade. Williams defending. Using his post moves to get the two points. 
Yeah, you'll be dragging too soft. Get the hell out of here. And I'm going to be back next to the soft. Helping him open up the clean look at the basket. Into a competition, Arkansas. Passes to Jokic. If you miss this, you're definitely gone. Oh yeah, you're Jokic. definitely gone. For Milwaukee, you're gonna, you're gonna sound like a bitch. I can't help him. Here's the machine. Doesn't go for it. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Well, if he's gonna keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. This is out of hand. Jokic. Competition. Silicon Valley. San Jose. Yeah, Aaron, using that to his advantage, involved with some apps. And we've seen a lot of players getting into the tech world. Great to see guys like Gordon branching out into business. Well, Aaron Gordon is a guy that you really value on both ends of the floor. He's capable of just scoring, him to attack the rim. He's shown that he's improved his three-point yeah. shooting. But on let's the give it to Victor. Let's stop this thing. That helps out. So the more and more and guys, guys get used to his versatility, the more he's going to shine. Let's do the box score. Let's see. Let's see the turnovers I got for my team. I mean, they're not terrible, but come on. Let's go, Victor. Here's Houdini. Nine points in the game. Wade. Come on, Zayo. Read that. Let's 17 go. feet out. He's got 10. The Bucks have gone six of thirteen to open up this second half. Pass to Allen. Here's the machine from downtown. It's cold. He's no good. Nice. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Here's Houdini. The rebound by the Bucks. Puts up a three. Houdini grabs a board. The Nuggets trail. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Durant, no good. Well, Milwaukee's shooting about 40% so far in the third. Goes up on the baseline. The putback. It's good on the putback. Well, great hustle from Tim Duncan, but great positioning as well. So skilled at using his long arms to haul rebounds in. And the basket by Houdini. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. There's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Wade. Got a hand on it. Let's stop out of here, Wade. Up in time. Damn it. And no okay. good. Okay. Trying to get that one to fall. Okay. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. The Bucks on top. Up one. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. That's no well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court for the Nuggets, we've got Murray, and it's Durant in at small forward. This has been a running theme for him. Hit a number of threes in the he first half. Right now. now, nails another. Allen can't get it to go. Denver has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Takes it inside. And a two-handed jam! Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. The Bucks trail. For three, Allen... And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. Pass to Wallace. Boy, he overdid it there. Too much force on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant one. Ooh, hard foul. Can't let him get away with that level of contact. That's a simple call for the officials to make. Everyone knows the league is cracking down on that kind of intimidation tactic. 
They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. And he makes both How is that a play good though? How is that how is that a play good? How? <laughs> Just going out the Bucks right now. Allen against Durant. That's crazy. Here's Wallace to the wing on the left. Here's Robertson. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get All the bucket. Right, this is when your interior D has to be on high alert. There's the AT&T right, 5G slam cam capturing the moment. Durant. Here's Houdini. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's a guy that can run on the produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss him. Don't want to freaking do that. How did I not just block that? Come on. Yeah, sure, Timmy had a chance to take the shot, but he's so skilled at hitting the wide-open teammate there. Gorgeous pass. Got a piece of it. Excuse me? Egg freaking excuse me? Nah, you gotta be kidding me, right? So I go out for the layup, as I'll see you. They're watching. And then somehow a sheet just block. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Uh, Here's Allen. Nice and then no one's not protecting nice the play. All the way all the way around. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats Dude. for the Bucks. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And I feel like competition. another part of tonight's uh, game has been the hustle. The hustle games. points, getting up and down. Getting... Fantastic in that area. You know his team is kind of good, but yeah, come good on. There. First free throw is good, and the Nuggets making a change here. Jokic is checked in. Both good from the line that time. The Nuggets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. From deep, and the Nuggets go, again from deep. It's over. He's been laser focused here in the fourth. Only one miss over. out of five attempts. Pass to Allen. Well, right wing. Wing. Allen. It's over. Here's Wallace. No foul. And Speedy clears it away. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. I passed it. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Good block, dude. Good block. What are you talking about, man? Let's right stop. side, Murray. Watch the passes. Watch the passes. Here's Speedy. Let's go with a three. The shot misses. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Wallace, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It goes on Kevin Durant. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. You can't make this up. You can't make this up anymore. You can't make this up. The first one falls. <clears throat> so it's both teams making substitutions here. And good on the second, so he makes them both. That's the Nuggets have gone four of seven from the field, field in the fourth quarter. Here's Speedy. Still scoring. Drills oh, it from yeah. deep. 33 points for him. Bombs Thank away you. in the first half. He's followed up the effort with three more triples since. Here's Robertson. Pass to the machine. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. I'm Jokic has got four rebounds in the game. To take the lead. And another three for Denver. Man, they're Seven having a hard threes, time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Robertson. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Speedy. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got four assists in the game. Yeah, with how much attention Durant draws, he's a skilled passer, and he'll make it happen. Timeout. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Don't chat.
And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. And the Bucks making a change here. Wade's checked in. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was telling his team. He likes the way they're pounding the ball inside. He said, he's working for high percentage looks. The more efficient that we can be down the stretch, the better chance we have of winning this game. Guys? All right, appreciate it. Here's Robertson. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. All right. Let's the Nuggets it. have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Asked Will Ajuan. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Everyone in the building mm -hmm. saw the obvious contact. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Denver? I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Wade, that's good. And that's why this team turns to Dwayne Wade in times of crisis. Here's Speedy. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got five assists tonight. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Pass to Wade. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Jokic, for a guy that size, he does just such a great job of moving the ball. A great conduit for the offense. Here's Wade. Tips. A minute 20 left in the final quarter. Speedy. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. He drops the first one. And that'll put him up by nine. And the second free throw. No good. Tough break there. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Robertson. Nice D from Durant. The Nuggets on offense. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Here's Wallace. Shoots over Durant. Wallace misses. And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock and don't turn it over. And they came in here with some attitude, and they brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness. Confidence fully in control for this win. She's struggling in a Venus corner. And it's a completely new group for the Bucks. <laughs> Butler up top. There's the drive. And it's Butler with the jam. Man, way over the defenses. Jimmy Butler gets some air time. Murray passes to Jokic. They get the rebound. Shots good by Olajuwon. And the Nuggets lead by 11. And that's a backbreaker for the defense. I mean, offensive boards like that run momentum against you. Yeah, that pops your confident balloon out there, just completely deflating when plays like that happen. Here's Fresh. Three-pointer, no good. Jokic with it. So no problem for Denver as they get the win. 
boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. And we'll see you next time. I felt bad, but I still lost. I got in a little bit until they choked in the forwards. That's all it was. I choked out 42 points. Got a fill day today. Crazy. That's crazy. GG's That's gonna be tough. Probably similar to the All Star weekend. I think I will. That's why I lost to a few of this time. That's cool. I was about to the All-Star Weekend. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's check the doing right here. Okay, Gage Team finally got a dub against Pelicans. Nice. Close one, though. <clears throat> ah, okay. Wait, what did the Pelicans have? I think they're not as good. It was a battle. Okay, this thing got 9 board, 24 points. We got 10 assists, 7 boards, 17 points. We should got 16 assists, 12 boards, 10 points. Okay, they all did the thing. Main players got 10 plus points, not bad. Dave on beat Travis team by 20? Oh, wow. Trevor had 17, I mean, that's Dave on 17 assists. What about Trevor? Okay. Okay. Not uh, too shabby. I'll check this day. Nice. Oh, shoot. Spurs beat. Giannis be his former team? Ah. Damn. Damn. Four. Damn. We got one by 11. Oh, by 9. The Trev's team. 
Okay. <clears throat> we lost him one again. Cavs team beat the Heat by 12, by 20. Nice. He seemed beat the Celtics at least. Nice. I was gonna be Davon's there. Yep, I'm just chilling, do music, you know? Yeah, no, that's all. He should be Trev's team. Damn. But I definitely hope I'll do as well. Now I've seen lost to the Jazz. What did Jazz have again? Who's this guy? Oh, Jason Terry. Okay. Wow. That's tough. Wow, this team cannot catch back on losing. They're not getting it done with this team, even though the team is pretty solid. They're not getting it done. That's tough. Avon's team with the Warriors. Wow. How is Davon's team doing better if his team's not as good? How the hell does that make any damn sense? His team's not as good, but he's doing better? How? Look at this team. Got Craig Play, got Dr. J, got Jordan Poole, Curry, Mark Eaton, or Jonah Nobi, Andrew Wiggins. Jason Kitt, and you got Clay Thompson. Like, come on, how is that team doing better? Honestly. Well, that's the Warriors team, but this is Davon's. Lamelo, Davon, another creative player. Lonzo Morning, Len Bias, Cousins, Barkley, Williams, RJ, and RJ Barrett. So I don't know what's going on there. Wow.
let's take a moment of silence. Oh. Set the box score. Check out 34, 15, 12. Number out of five boards. And Duncan with 10. Timmy. What's going on, sir? I have to see what's going on. What's your freaking attributes? Ninety freaking nine rebounding. You only got four boards that game. I've got cream. You got five. So what's his stats? Looking like about the same. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. This is wowzers. PhD must buy six to the Pacers will trash. I don't know what to say. It's just looking embarrassing for Milwaukee right now. I own Two stats like season seven and a half boards a game, one assist. 1.2 blocks. Hmm. 18 points. <clears throat> Here comes after a triple double. 2.6 blocks. 2.3 steals. Boston's going 11 points. 
5.6 boards, 1 block a game, 0.8 steals. He has 14 points, 7 boards, 0.6 steals, 1.7 blocks. And this is what's going on. And Bias has 7 points, 2 boards, half a steal, and 0.7 blocks. I don't know what else to do. I'm helping this team as best I can. Do I need like an actual trade to play or something? Is that what they need at this point? Because I, I don't get it. Another trade to player? Do I have Bonnie for? I don't know anymore at this point. I helped this team as best I could. The team is still not getting it done. Way this is going, if they even do build them the playoffs, they'll, they'll not win no title. I'm sorry. The way the Bucks are playing. I'm playing kind of the Iowa Lakers, in my mind, league. Or like the Iowa Golden State Warriors. The way they're playing. Or even more so, I don't even know anymore. I really don't. But now at the All-Star Weekend now. I'm gonna check extensions here. I still got time to make contracts for my team. I'm gonna play the All Star with the Rising Stars game. Why not? Why not? But they got yellow cards too. Nice. Or that. <clears throat> So, don't like what's it been like for you and all your gameplay team to like meet the community and interact with the community and then have them playing, you know, the product. Before I start this game, let me go back real quick just to show what's going on. Before I start that Rising Stars game, let me show what's going on. That right there is what's going on. Let me see how. I know, but it's just crazy to have a good enough team. Your team's struggling. Pigs aren't even as good. You struggled against them somehow. And he lost to Nimes' team. They lost to North Coast if you lose to. Let's check real quick. There's no chance of me to do, but I don't know if this is going on. You lost to the Pacers, Nimes team, and the Wizards on, on a row. Okay, 
be trusting there. Lost to my team after having a good battle. Got a fourth card away. You guys sold. But that was still a good game though. Yeah, let's check the rest of the standings real quick, see what's going on. Okay, so we got Trev's we got B God's team and Nimes team in the top two. And then Trev's team right behind them at number four. Okay. And then we got Boyd's team two spots behind there. Let's review Boyd's team again. He's got Allen Iverson himself, Paul Pierce, KD, Embiid, Nash, Tim Zayers, and Sean Kemp. And then this is what Davon's got again. Melo himself, Rambias, another creative player, DeMarcus Cousins, Barkley, Morning, Mikey, and RJ. Hmm. Let's see what the Heat have. They got a creative player, Kobe, KD, Bosch, Weber, Wade, Bam, Milton, Hero, Kyle Kuzma, and yeah. Let's see what the Wizards have. Zaire, creative player of Mello, Howard, Porzingens, Beal, Tony Walker, Johnny Davis, and the rest are bombs. Hmm. Let's see what the Hawks have. We have John Stockton, D. Wade, Paul George, D. A creative player, Marcus Malone, Charles Barkley, Dominique Wilkins, Trey Young, Cousins, Okanru, and yeah. So the Raptors have Van Fleet, creative player, with apparently 7 1. And then they have two Kawhis, and then they have Pascal, Scotty Barnes, Chris Bosch, Miles Turner, Dinwiddie, and then yeah. Boston has Magic, Creative Player, Brown, Tatum, Moses, Oton Brand, KG, Jonte, Robert Williams, Marcus Smart, Peyton Pritchard, Grant Williams, and G Gallinari, and that's it, yeah. See, you know, these other teams are not as good, but they're doing somehow better. Um, I don't know. Isaiah's got himself, got Larry Bird, Dwight, Ronnie, Kate Cunningham, McAdoo, Shadik, Bojan, Marvin, and yeah. Yeah, but anyways, let's get on with this game. A little bit, it's probably a grave cave. Let's go. Let's so when you can just have a conversation about things and it helps them too, you know, they can they can bring up points and things they don't like. And we can just talk to them about things and how the game is built and they understand why some of this is Thanks for joining us for the NBA Rising yeah, awesome. Stars Challenge. Get awesome. ready awesome. for some thrilling end-to-end -end action as the best first and second-year players in the NBA do battle on the hardwood. Right. Alongside Greg it. Anthony and Clark Kelly, this is up, Kevin right. yeah, And Kevin, you talked about players. some thrills being in store for us tonight. These young guys are all I capable of making that, a man, spectacular you know, play at any given time. Best I, best I got a feeling we'll see plenty of them here tonight. Absolutely. Well, without question, I mean, if this game has taught us anything over the last few years, over the years in general, it's there isn't a high idea big enough to capture all of the incredible high-flying action. And now the opening lineup for Team World. We've got Sharp, 
And it's Garuba in at the big spot, manning the middle, rebound. and the shot goes in. You know, I know his NBA career is, is just starting out, but he has been logging some veteran minutes in the regular season. Well, in his short time in the league, Greg, he's earned the full confidence of the coaching staff. They're not afraid to use him in any situation. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the bucket by USA. Just five to shoot. Here's Daniels. Team World with another miss. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage. Maybe for the first time in their professional career. You brought up the big stage, these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. Yeah. And, and it says a lot about like where they stand all the amongst their peers. Happens. Here's Things Mathurin. still happen, but... I have to put the body teams that need to make a playoff time. That's spot. And here's Daniels. Pass to Sharp. Pulls up. Get out of here. And it's Royal with the rebound. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm up for the All Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. Now, here's Sean. He's tightly guarded. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And the dunk by Powell. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with a bunch. Blazing. And now the first timeout called here for Team World. This really has become one of the signature events of All Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they might not dare to attempt in a regular season game. Let's see if this one means. The pass to Matthew. Kicks it to Daniels. Passes it to Sharp, trying to get something going. It's hauled in by USA. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Yeah, and the number of slams here we're seeing tonight off the charts. Somebody forgot to tell these guys the dunk contest is on a different night. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. What's up? And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for USA. They've not been passive at all on defense early on. Challenging shots, and it's resulted in a number of blocks. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, they've continued to find ways to score. Bender is checked in for USA. Six to shoot. Outside for Thornton. Shoots the three. Good on the three-point shot. And for this young man, this kid... The hell is this dude's three point on? Uh oh. Game is serving as kind of a coming out party, if you will. A lot of fans haven't seen him that often. Oh, oh, can you believe that? Turned up and turned out. Oh, oh, thank you. Down. Come on. Oh, Team World God trails saved. by 15. Pass to Waters. And here's Sharp. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a okay. chance at the line. 
Team World shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. First free throw is good. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the games. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials. Like KD or AD or KG. <laughs> Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. The initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Out to the right wing. Here's Thornton. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Now USA with it. They're on a 20-6 to six run. Here's Arroyo. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Arroyo's got six. Yeah, in the first half of his season, boy, how special has it been? He has been on a rampage. Yeah, and he's got tremendous talent. And when he's fully healthy and engaged, I mean, he's really impossible to stop. That's what we've been seeing this year from him. And Team World calls time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the Ram. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Ball's not out of loose, bounds. and so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. One oh seven left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Waters. Over Richardson. And so far, having trouble converting on the inside. Yeah, those are the shots you want. But they've been trickling out on them, guys. They've just got to stay with it. Persist in getting those good shots inside, and they'll drop. Team World trails by 16. Matherin passes to Sharp, and Bender comes to help. And there's the pass to Matherin. All sorts of time. Team World with the fresh shot clock. No, I'm sorry. Let that happen. What's the last season the All-Star was? Did I make it? Wow. I mean, the Royal and Dave made it. That's tough. Five on the clock. Second chance shot. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Team World shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Powell, he's jacked in for USA. Flash comes in for Bender. Both good from the line that time. There's 21 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Arroyo. Got a piece of it. Now, here's Sharp. Not a lot of room. Can't nail the jump. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he just saw it. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. And it's USA with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. 
And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. So, Team World's five right now. We've got Sharp, and it's Garuba in at the center position. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So, good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes oh. things get a little wild out there, but not so here. Yeah, a little light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And, and that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically. Mm. If that makes any sense, the officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. He kicks it to Daniels. Four on the clock. Shot from the top of the key. That one wide left. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, Damn. shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong it's performances there. throughout, okay. and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Waters. A shot goes okay. in first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And you're not going to pass up that kind of look. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And, and while you can't get it all back in one position, just stay after it. Keep attacking. Here's the boy. 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 One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Passes to Sharp. Powell with the steal. Oh. And now USA on the break. Ford kicks to Powell. Second shot opportunity. Try shooting the that. rebound by Sharp. That's okay. Team World trails by 20. Here is Daniels. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Garuba. Over to the left wing. Good ball movement here by Team World. Daniels, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Four. Off target with his three. Waters can't get it to go. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. And USA with some changes. Price, he's checked in for Powell. Insanity comes in for Richardson. And it's Bender in for Silk. And Team World calls time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Guys, nothing has really come easy for them today. Yeah, definitely not their best basketball. Pass the Waters. They got five against the house. The pass to Daniels. Here's Waters. Six on the shot clock. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Waters got five. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Bender kicks to Ford. Kelly passes to Houdini. And Price with it. Yeah. Said. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And stolen by Price. And now USA on the ball. Oh. You know, we always get some great dunks in this game, and I think we could add that to the list. Check out the reaction. Listen to that. I mean, that slam was a raise the roofer. Passes it to Matherin. 
Stripped it away. Oh, Damian. Steal. And here's the fast break. Price leading the way. Yeah, I'd have to say the decibel level just rolls about 300% in here. Certainly sounds like it. I mean, there's nothing these fans love to see more than highlight real dunks. And that one certainly qualifies. Yeah, put that bonus out. Put it on like bottom. Um, God, it's like a PC so. 1.46 left to play in the first half. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing. Got them, got it. To perfect. And out of bounds is Team World Games possession. Yeah, and USA making a change here. A Royals checked in. One thirty left in the first half of basketball. And Daniels up top. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold. Oh, is that beautiful? Well, that's not what I was expecting. I uh, mean, either. I don't think anybody was. Even he didn't know what he was going to pull off on that one. Spectacular. Takes creativity it, though. and spontaneity. The ability to make it up on the fly, that's special. Here's Waters. He's got five, 11 feet away. Daniels, no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. And that's it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean... Strong rebounding has Shoot certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. For USA, they've oh, gone no, three or four at the free throw line tonight. Powell, he's checked in for USA. Shots checked in for Team coaching. World. Free throw good, Ford. That's not too that was. There's 45 seconds left here in the second. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. It's deflected. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. And that one's good. Houdini. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Team World with another miss. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Oh, he's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. To halt the run, that one so, doesn't drop. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. And it's USA up by 33 points as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for them. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We've got more in store for you right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. The Rising Stars Challenge already proving to be a favorite this weekend. Uh, Kenny and Shaq are here. I'm Ernie Jones. The Rising Stars game has become such a special part of All-Star Weekend. We couldn't have a better showcase for the incredible players that are just getting their NBA careers underway. Just think of... And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Do it at the Rising Stars Challenge tonight. None of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic, just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game, and that excitement comes out onto the court. They've got power. Silk is out there with Houdini. Then there's Bender, and it's Price in at the center. And that's the group for JB Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Here's Daniels. Price with the block. They've shown some strength in the paint today. They're working. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Where did that come from? Oh, oh, that was beautiful. What a punch. 
and the burst of quickness on display with the Mobile One Drive. That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Yep, it counts. And it's six points for Houdini. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really Ooh. impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Pass to Matherin. Takes a three. Team World with another miss. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Here's McKnight. Oh! Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Shaden Sharp picks one up. For USA, they've shot 80% from the line tonight, going four of five so far. Richardson, he's checked in for Bender. Good on both. Now, here's Sharp. Pass to Matherin. Now, Daniels. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Let's it fly yeah, from 18. Buddy. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys. Missing their first four attempts. Powell, the pass to Price. And finished off by Price. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. And the pass to Sharp. Good ball movement here by Team World. Powell on the double team. Here's Garuba, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And in terms of size, Less not minutes. your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And the Matherin. Rebound by Houdini. Houdini's got his sixth rebound on the night. Kicks it out to Richardson. Here's McKnight. Oh, yeah. oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Platinum-level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. Now, here's Sharp. Defense right on him. Passes it to Thornton. Just five on the clock. Here's Daniels. And it's off the back rim. No good. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. We, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. It's the best way to do it as long as you don't get teed up for it. Pass to Garuba. Here is Daniels. Pulls up, high post. It's hauled in by USA. Howell's got four rebounds now tonight. He just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. Yep. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Catching up on the changes for USA. Powell, he's jacked in for Price. And it's insanity in for Houdini. And a change for Team World. Waters is checked in. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Here's Matherin. Pass to Waters. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Matherin. Team World with another miss. Now USA with it. A 14-2 run over the last bit. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. The eight-footer, it's deflected. Man, he's just pulled a Harry Houdini in this quarter. He's completely disappeared. Oh, that's good. And look at how the hustle game has been going for USA. 
They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense, and that, to me, has been impressive. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Matherin passes to Garuba. From the top by Powell. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Sharp, the pass to Matherin. Now, here's Sharp. Defense is right there. Oh, yeah. He's tipped out of bounds. It'll be USA's ball. And uh, 101 left in the third. McKnight, the pass to Pump. Here's Waters. Five points in the game. Here's Kelly, and he dunks it down. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. 43 seconds left to play in the third. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Matherin. They need this one. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds. Team World will retain possession. And USA making a change here. Bender's checked in. Now the pass to Matherin. Five to shoot. Now here's Sharp. I know that change Sharp. There's the three. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And the two by Powell. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what I'm impressive pass shot, in the middle. Here's Sharp. Oh, that's blocked. Sure. And they get it back. Here's Waters. No good on the last second attempt there. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. USA ahead, delivering the blowout. And we're coming back in just... back to the showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right, and the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. Right, let's get finished the game, and then I'll go East Coast. So it's USA now. So Team World's five right now. They've got Sharp, and it's Daniels in at the two guard spot. And here's Richardson outside. Here's Powell and the dunk by Powell. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Here's Garuba, guarded by Powell, knocked away. And stolen by Richardson. Up the floor. And the dunk by Powell. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Garuba's shot is off. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish, and he knows it. Blowing opportunity. And stolen by Ooh. Thornton. Now, here's Sharp. He's guarded closely. Good ball movement here by Team World. And the officials call a traveling oh. violation. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Catching up on the changes for USA. Price, he's checked in for Powell. Thunder comes in for Richardson. And it's Insanity in for Silk. And it's Team World with the ball. Passes it to Waters. And here's Sharp. Pass to Daniels. 
Here's Sharp, just five on the clock. Here's Waters, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Greg, we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls Take a break. you might Take expect. A break. Also Two shots. how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. And he knocks down the first one. Flash is checked in for USA. Both shots good from the strike. Smart anchor it passes Greg or really pay. Okay, so off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot. The team. It's good on the putback. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. To the paint. And here's Sharp. Pass to Daniels. Looking to end his cold spell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And for a while there, Greg, it seemed like we were entering the super team era. But lately, homegrown talent. Players you draft and develop or sign and develop seems to be the way teams are going. Yeah, and it's not easy to maintain a culture. When you're bringing in stars from outside we've seen some cautionary examples here of late here's price score the bucket he's made five so far shooting a very clean five of seven and yeah, when they've fun. gone to him he has come through big time you gotta keep getting him touches sharp the pass to garuba and he banks in the layup and he found a soft spot in the d on that possession awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Bender dishes the price. <laughs> We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Kicks it to Daniels. Shoots over Bender. Daniels, no good. And here's Price. He brings it up for USA. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Oh, you've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball. I'm going to skip the rest of the game. I'm not tired of playing All around. this game. Why did it show dunk contest first? Let me dunk contest first. Is that what it is? Ooh. 
Ooh, Tishi Boyer Boyer made it to the dunk contest. I hope I'm not screwing things up. Oh my gosh, where's the dunk contest first? God dang it. Damn it. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Back to 2K23. In July, we held a 2K TV Tuesday event in the city, and I heard that there was some kind of challenge involved. Welcome to All Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Tonight, the dunk contest. And from the looks of this great competition, it is shaping up just as we had hoped. It's going to have some high flying action and some big time jams. And how many great memories have we gotten from the dunk contest over the years? I mean, it always produces some terrific moments and guys I, I think we're going to get more of those this year in fact, I, I guarantee it i think with this field i think we're in for some fireworks here's one of our faves right here he covered his eyes he covered his eyes to the human blindfold he covered his eyes he went to the forearm blindfold oh my goodness and the 360 is actually about a 200 degree it wasn't a full it wasn't a full 360 it was a little north of 180. oh thank so goodness you took I geometry give, i give thank him about goodness. a 240 on that oh one. that's good 240 <laughs> degree that that is good that. and the nice oh, little blindfold uh, too you got it yeah i like it so it's the machine ready to go Second up, he's going to make minutes. some noise with his first dunk of the night. That's about the same stat, seems a chip dub. Oh! 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 <laughs> Quicker than the eye. Now that's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Dang. switch his hands. Did he switch hands he on did. that one? Yes, he did. Look, it started with the left, palmed it, cupped it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That. That's oh, good. Oh, so it'll be thunder oh. right here. Coming up third. Let's see what he's got. Averaging a trip dub. Going after it here, Kevin. He is. Oh, oh that, was, that, that, was that was wicked good. there, Kevin. That was good. Because if you had to go against his body, yeah, right. he went through his leg oh. and he kind of went counterclockwise on the throwdown. That is what that I'm is talking nasty. about. That's sweet. That is above yep. the ratings. So it will be B here. Boy, Adam Cleo, he's thing. looking to close out the first round of dunks with a bang. What the heck? I don't know how to afford it so far. Oh, he's oh, trying to get the weakest dunk out of the That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. He went with the pose, left hand pose. If this gets better than a 40, or even a 40, I don't even know more. That dunk was so garbage. Powell's got a lead and some breathing space for himself as round one comes to a close. Yeah, well, he's done. definitely established himself no as the leader here, but he'll have to keep up in the ante to maintain. And here we go with Magician. And we're back where we start. Wow. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, nice yeah, 360. Nice. He's getting nice. Yeah. Yeah. He could dunk at high score. Yeah. Well oh, thrown. Yeah. Great. And then you've got the catch and the 360. Oh, the pass, though. Okay. So it's the machine. A 43. Back to our second okay. Dunk. He should go to duck number two. Oh, that was nice. Okay. That's all I guess. Okay. I see a little propeller action right there. And he's a right handed guy, I think. He went left hand with him. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, that's real sweet. That's real sweet. It so scores the hole right okay. here. And it's the second dunk. Oh, the oh, 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 oh
Okay, got the lowest score. He's probably last now. Yep. I last. So it's been one game. Time to reach back for that. And here we go with Magician. We're back to the top of the lineup. Third and final dunk. What do we got going on here, Clark? Okay, all right. That was decent. Solid. That was okay. All I can say is solid. <laughs> average. Very average. You're a tough grader. <laughs> you are a tough grader. <laughs> So it's the machine yep. solid. Third go around, second in the order. Good dunk it, so I get the score here. We put it in the room or close to it. Okay, high toss here, high bounce. And then a pretty good catch. A little maneuver mid-air yeah. on the catch. You got it with one and then put two hands on it, so it's okay. Little pity pat. We call that a pity pat dunk. Yeah, okay. One hand, the right second down. hand got on it. Oh, 45. And it'll okay. be thunder right here. Well, he's our leader so far, Clark. What do we got going on here, Clark? That is great. Yeah, I like one hand. Oh, one hand, yeah. yeah. I love the one hand. There's something yeah. about the one hand jam. That gives it a little you different flair. You're right, Clark. Yep. Oh, one-handed windmill. And that was beautifully done. Little 360 right. off the alley-oop. Yep, one hand to 360 here, but the way he caught it and the motion you got was so nice. A 45. So it'll be B. Hey, Rock, he's out of the place. Final dunk of the night. Don't do the same dunk again, bro. Oh, yeah. The elevation, boy. I think he's looking into the goal here, Kevin. I mean, his yes, head was yeah. rim high. Oh, rim oh. high. Look at this. Bounce it. Catch it. And look yeah, at it yeah, while you punch lost. it. <laughs> Good call. Aggressively. And let's look at the More. final results of the dunk contest. Incredible acrobatics and artistry from this year's champion, Thunder. Damn. And what a job he did to pull out the biggest, baddest, flashiest chance. It's the dunk contest champion. Dunk champion for sure. Definitely, Clark. I mean, this was a fantastic. No, no, about people really this exceeded my expectations. I didn't and know about that, but, certainly uh, did not see. disappoint. From the excitement to the energy, and of course, mm. to the jaw dropping dunks. Now, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, I guess. So, we got that all star game. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave two good games for next stream. Of me for uh, the All Star game, and then me versus Jordan. I'm gonna do. Wait, the Pelicans fired their head coach. Fire coach Willie Green. Damn. That's what I might do. Hard off that for the stream. Yeah, we'll get the All Star and go next stream. So, probably tomorrow, maybe. And then we'll get the 
game against Lakers. So yeah. <clears throat> and then see what happens for playoffs. Seven more games left. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24 games left of regular season for my team. And then it's playoff time. Okay. So we gotta see about TC's team if they can make it. What's their schedule looking like? Okay, you can probably beat Davon's team, maybe. You can beat the Celtics, you can beat the Rockers team, probably. Do you guys' team? I don't know about that. You can definitely beat Boyd's team. Nimes' team? Possibly. You did it before. Blazers, definitely. Definitely beat the B Mavs. You'll probably beat Kobe's Heat. Probably beat the OKC. He's not probably beating Michael. He's definitely beating them too. And the Raptors, I can see that. He's not beating my team. Maybe beat the Hawks. He definitely beat the Suns. Maybe there's the Kings, I don't know. Spurs, possibly. Magic, maybe. Pacers, showing them last time, but you can probably beat them in a rematch. The Grizzlies, most definitely. And then, yeah. So, if it pays out, you can definitely make playoffs. Depending on the other team's schedule and how they play out. How many games are? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 games. Okay. So yeah, we'll see though. But I'm about to end this thing, and I'll see y'all probably tomorrow. Another mile extreme. So peace. See y'all then.